At any rate, uh, what the subject matter was of this person's call was uh, a statement apparently made to the caller by a person who was in the caller's custody. Is that correct? You know, we're going back to 94 or 95. I'm a sure. little gray on exactly. And um, you can you can use your own report, Exhibit 138, to refresh mm -hmm. your recollection if that helps you. I don't know if the person, I gathered, yes, that they had someone in custody. I don't know if this person had commented directly to the person who called me or had commented to other people within that jurisdiction, and this eventually got to my caller. But but the detective indicated that there was a person in custody who had made a statement about a Manitowoc County offense, correct? Yes. Okay. And what that person in custody had said was that he had committed an assault in Manitowoc County and someone else was in jail for it, correct? Yes, sir. And that much you're, you're pretty sure of, correct? Yes. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a significant event. Right, right? that's what stood out in my mind. Sure, and uh, you knew by September 12, 2003, that Stephen Avery is someone who had been in jail for an assault that he had been convicted of, correct? Had been in jail. Yes. He, had, he was recently released. By yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you gave the person the number and then attempted to transfer the call. And do you know whether the call went through to the other detective? I, I don't know. Okay. I didn't hear uh, somebody pick up, but as soon as the phone rang, I would have hung it up. Okay, because at that stage, again, you've given the person the contact information if he chooses to follow up, correct? Yes, sir. Um, did you ever make any inquiries of anybody in the Detective Bureau to find out whether they had received such a call? No, sir. Or did you ever hear any feedback from anybody about no, whether they had gotten such a call? No, sir. Okay, so that's that's what's going on in, in 2003, correct? No, the I'm sorry, that's what's going on in 94, 95. Yes, sir. You then, in 2003, following the publicity that we've already discussed relating to Mr. Allen and Mr. Avery, uh, and you're concerned that perhaps the caller that was calling was speaking about Mr. Allen and Mr. Avery. True? I was wondering about that, yes. Sure. Uh, you brought that up to someone else, correct? Yes, sir. And to whom did you bring that up? To Lieutenant Link. And uh, you and Lieutenant Link had a conversation about it? Yes, sir. And in that conversation, is it safe to say that you told him what's reflected in uh, Exhibit 138? Yes, sir. Now, there was also a conversation that followed that in which uh, you spoke to Sheriff Peterson, correct? Yes, sir. And do you recall that uh, um, Lieutenant Link was there as well? When I spoke with Sheriff Peterson? Yes, was he or not? Do you no, know? No, he was not. He was not. Okay. Who who all was there when you talked to Sheriff Peterson? Do you remember? I, I don't recall who was in the room. I remember coming into work, Sheriff Peterson was downstairs where our patrol division is, mm -hmm. and he, I got the impression he was waiting for me to come into work. There were other people coming in and out of the room, but I don't recall who. Do you know what it is that gave you the impression he was waiting for you? I mean, did he come right up to you or ask you to come with him? Or something? I usually don't have contact with the sheriff, you know, so <laughs> okay. that's what gave me the impression he was waiting for me. And when, uh, uh, when you and he connected that day, uh, what happened? I mean, did you say something to him? Did he say something to you? No, he, he initiated the conversation by uh, uh, saying... Uh, he had spoken with Lieutenant Link, and he felt that it would be in the best interest of Lieutenant Link and myself and the Sheriff's Department. I would suppose that if I was to give him a statement on what, on the gist of our conversation or what we had discussed. And uh, 
I asked for clarification on that, you know, and he goes, well, what you discussed about uh, a telephone call that you received while you were working in, in the jail. And I said, okay. okay. And before I went out on patrol, mm -hmm. I provided this statement. 